thousands of dead fish turned up near the banks of the Uda River in the village of Widukowa in western Poland on August 11th. That's when local residents realized an ecological disaster that started in late July in the country's southwest was heading towards the Baltic Sea. The mayor of the village, Paweł Wrobel, said when they discovered the dead fish, it was the worst five days of his life. He said it was like something from a disaster movie. With the help of the local community, he gathered dozens of pitchforks used to lift potatoes to remove dead fish from the river, which marks part of the Polish-German border. Firefighters and territorial defence forces were deployed by the government to help. The stench was so bad that most of them vomited during the work, according to the village residents. Despite numerous tests, it is still unclear what poisoned the Uda, which is Poland's second largest river. Researchers in Germany and Poland's climate ministry have pointed to a large overgrowth of toxic algae as a possible cause. The government began a crisis response, but many say this came too late. On August 12th, Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki fired the head of Poland's National Water Management Authority and the head of the General Environmental Inspectorate, saying their institutions should have reacted earlier. For Widukowa's residents, like Pieter Bugaj, who is a passionate angler and owns boats and rooms to rent on the river, fear and uncertainty prevail. I was born by the older river. I have been an angler for 30 years. I cannot imagine it now. It is hard for me to come to the river, look at the water table and not see fish, the predators who used to chase each other, bream swimming around. 